related to Heritage Realty, please describe your vision for the company. Well, my vision for the company is to provide a place for individual brokers to build their business. We provide a platform and individuals will then go out and develop their own clientele and build their business off the platform that we provide. Uh, myself, with my knowledge from the Real Estate Commission and those kinds of things, are helping brokers. They don't have to get involved in learning that stuff and knowing that stuff. They can concentrate on their marketing and doing things for buyers and sellers and not having to worry about the back end of the business. That's what I try to provide. Would you say that this is your most appealing quality as a company to other agents then? Yes, I do. Part of what I do as the employing broker is I'm here and available for them for counseling, to answer questions. That's my mainstay. And other brokers tend to be out with their own book of business. And they're very good with their answers, they're good people, but they're busy doing their own business. And, and that's not how I operate. When dealing with licensed realtors, what types of realtors are there? I think this is a question that the consumer often asks. Because I've heard, for instance, managing broker, independent broker, broker associate. What does it all mean? Well, there are a couple of different types of licenses that you can obtain. There's only one basic broker's license, but there are different levels. The initial license that a broker gets is to be able to go out and and run a business, their own business, independently by themselves after they have two years of apprenticeship. Then they have to take additional classes to have their level of brokerage uh, elevated to that of an employing broker. And after that, then they can actually employ people under them and then they're, re they're required to supervise those people. And make sure that all the records are in order, make sure that all the files are kept and so forth. What advice do you have for the general public regarding the use of Colorado contracts? Well, it's, it is complicated uh, and it changes every year. They're probably rarely getting shorter. They tend to get longer primarily because the legislature will pass something that's a good consumer protection and that has to be incorporated into the contract. One of the things that the uh, Commission has been able to do is eliminate n a number of forms integrating, uh, for instance, we had a commercial contract and then we had a residential contract and they merged those together so there's only one form. And so we've eliminated many of the forms but the contracts tended to get longer. 